After spending 41 days in the house, the final seven should absolutely know to expect the unexpected. And this is especially true tonight, as the house guests face one of the most unexpected twists in the history of the game. Welcome to Big Brother. Good evening, I'm Julie Chen Moonvez. Welcome to Big Brother. Last week, Reza was evicted and the house is split into three distinct groups. How will they move forward working together? And how will this dynamic affect tonight's big twist? We'll find out soon enough. But first, a new head of household must be crowned. And with no one feeling safe, everybody is fighting to win. Hey everyone, it's time for the Head of Household competition. Head out to the backyard and we'll get things started. We walk out into the backyard. And it's empty. I have no idea what this competition could possibly be. I don't think I want to win this HOH. I know I need to start fighting for my safety, but with my position in the game, I don't have any enemies, and I don't need to start making them now. House guests, this competition is called Figure It Out. Turn to the screen to read the rules of the competition. Um, what? I am so lost right now, lol. Everybody seems confused, but I think I get it. The first thing I see is the red zero, and after some further investigation, I see that some of the letters on the background are a darker color than the rest. I wonder if the letters spell out anything. Maeve is right. The letters spell out check the wiki. So we go over to the computers and do just that. And, ladies and gentlemen, if you follow the link in the description of this episode, you too can also check out the wiki, a site with a full breakdown of past seasons, house guest twist, and more. On the competition page of the wiki, I scrolled down to the place where figure it out might be, and sure enough, a new section was added. It said go to the memory wall, and that the winners will help us. Maeve and Alex ran over to the computers after they looked at the wall. I think there might be a clue there. Maeve and I are at the memory wall and we see that everyone that was evicted has letters over their faces. Because the clue said that the winners would help us, we're looking at the letters on James and Juliana, but it doesn't seem to make any sense. I was right. The wall said to check the wiki. I'm not that far behind Alex and Maeve. I feel like we have to be doing something wrong. I need to go and read what the wiki said more closely. Oh! The clue isn't talking about the winners of Big Brother. It's talking about the winners of the competition that are listed on the wiki. Grace, David, and Matt. When we check the memory wall again and use the letters from Grace, David, and Matt, it's spelled out a word. Snapchat. We ran back to the computers and found that production has made a private story. We're on the right track. I'm at the memory wall, but can't figure out what the letters mean. I need to figure it out quickly. I can't let Maeve and Alex get too far ahead. Alex and I are stuck like pigs in the mud. 
we don't know what the Snapchat story has to do with anything. After staring at the story, I finally see it. In the bottom left corner, there's an app. I think it could be for an Instagram account. It's a real account. There are 50 posts, all black screens. The next clue has to be hidden in there. I'm starting from the top and Alex is starting from the bottom. We are going to find this clue. All of a sudden, I see it. One post has words on it. It says to take the red numbers from all of the clues and put the five digit code in the safe in the backyard. I take the zero from the wall, the five from the wiki, the two from the memory wall, the nine from the Snapchat story, and the seven from the Instagram post. This has to be it. Congratulations, Alex. You have figured it out and are the new head of household. I was scrolling through the Instagram page when Alex got it right. I was so close. Whoopsies, I didn't even solve the clue that said to go to the wiki, lol. Alex and Maeve immediately meet up to discuss what they should do with the nominations. They say that even though they know that this week could be twisted and that the targets might not go home, they can't plan around it on the chance that things go even worse. So with that, Alex decides that he will be targeting Aaron for the week. As for the other nominee, he has two options. He could nominate Bella on the terms that she wouldn't be his target and that it would be the same exact thing that she did to him last week, or nominate Emma, someone who hopefully won't hold a grudge and would be less likely to win HOH next week. They say that they want to discuss this over with their main alliance in the house, Caitlin and Julia. Alex and Maeve go to Caitlin and Julia to discuss their options. Alex asks that out of Erin, Bella, and Emma, who they would want to see nominated or be targeted. Caitlin, wanting to keep her position between the two sides of the house, says that she doesn't have a huge preference as she isn't super close with any of them. But if she had to choose, she would target Erin, since she's talked to her the least. Julia speaks up and pushes for this a little more, saying that the two of them are actually on pretty good terms with Bella, and she could be someone to keep them safe in the future. Plus, Bella is a strong veto threat, so nominating her might not be smart. Alex says that these are some interesting points that he will definitely think over. If Bella does end up going on the block, I need her to be next to Erin so that we can keep her safe. If not, I hope she's next to Julia so that I have a reason to get rid of Bella. After Caitlin and Julia leave, Alex and Maeve immediately turn to one another and say that Caitlin and Julia can absolutely not be trusted. If it wasn't clear before, it is so clear now that they are exactly in the middle and are just jumping back and forth to whoever is in power. As much as they want Erin out of the game this week, they might just have to take a shot at Bella if Caitlin and Julia keep trying to protect her. That conversation with Caitlin and Julia heavily made me consider wanting Bella out. They did such a bad job at hiding that they want to keep Emma and Bella safe. If it's a sign Bella's on the block, I'm evicting her. I'm just a bad bitch. If I grow up next, oh well, our legend will live on. I have no idea what Alex is going to do. I feel like he could potentially put up Caitlyn and Julia, but I'm still scared. Hey everyone, it's time for the nomination ceremony. This is the nomination ceremony. It is my duty, <laughs> duty, as head of household to nominate two house guests for eviction. In my nomination block are the keys of the house guest I'm nominating for eviction. I will turn two keys to lock in my nominations and their faces will appear on the memory wall. 
The first house guest I am nominating is... The next house guest I have nominated is... I figured out who I'm nominating! Get it? <laughs> because like... Anyways, I've nominated you, Aaron, because we aren't working together, and I've already nominated you, and I want to see what song you send, so it just ease what it ease. I've nominated you, Bella, because you put me up last week, and that also indeed ease what it ease. Please send funny nomination memes, because they make my day. Good luck in veto, whatever that comp ease. This nomination ceremony is adjourned. This is sad, I don't want Aaron to go home, but I also don't want to go home. And even if one of us comes off the block, he'll probably put up Emma, who I also don't want to go home. Two legends of the game are on the block next to one another. Will they find a way for both of them to stay this week? Or will one of them be joining the jury? With this week's secret twist and the power of veto up for grabs, anything is possible. Stay with us. Welcome back to Big Brother. Erin and Bella are on the block and in danger of going home. But the veto has the power to change everything. Hey everyone, it's time to pick players for the veto competition. Only six people will participate in the veto competition. The head of household, the two nominees, and three other players selected by a random draw. Will the nominees please join me up here? I, along with the two nominees, will pull a chip to determine the other players competing. If your name is John, you will also compete. As HOH, I will choose first. Julia. Maeve. Emma. Big Brother has informed us that the competition is to begin now. Head out to the backyard and we'll get things started. This competition is called Counting Jeep and here's how it works. In each round, you will be presented with a large number of items. It is your job to guess how many items are being shown. Once everyone locks in their guesses, they will be revealed. Then you must decide to either stay or fold. If you fold, you cannot be eliminated from the competition, but you cannot earn a point. If you stay and your guess is the closest to the actual number of items, you will earn a point. But if you stay and you are the farthest away from the number of items, you will be eliminated. The first house guest to three points or the last house guest standing will win the golden power of veto. Are you ready to play Counting Jeep? I was thinking that maybe I have to slow down with all these compliments so I don't become a target, but then I remembered if anyone but Maeve or I win these, we're already the targets. I have a feeling that if Erin ends up winning the veto and Emma is the replacement nominee, then Emma might actually go home since Julia and Caitlin seem loyal to Bella. That's just more motivation for me to win this. It's time to reveal your guesses. Everyone must now decide if they want to stay or fold. Alex and Emma have stayed. The correct answer is 151. Alex, you are the closest and have earned a point. Sorry, Emma, but you are the farthest away and have been eliminated.
Alex, Julia, and Maeve have stayed? The correct answer is 132. Alex, you are the closest and have earned your second point. Sorry, Julia, but you are the furthest away and have been eliminated. I was not expecting to be out of this comp so soon. I hope everything still works out. Damn, I really got that one spot on. That is so cool. Am I seriously going to sweep this comp? Alex and Maeve have stayed. The correct answer is 115. Maeve, you are the closest and have earned a point. Sorry, Alex, but you were the furthest away and have been eliminated. Okay, so it looks like I'm not gonna sleep this one. I was really hoping that Alex would have won after that question. I'm so mad at myself for staying and eliminating him when he already had two points. I have to win this now. It's down to me, Aaron, or Bella. Everybody has folded. Nobody is eliminated, but nobody gets a point. I think I need to take this chance and stay, hoping that everyone else folded again or that my guess is actually close enough. Bella and Maeve stay. The correct answer is 82. Maeve, you are the closest and have earned your second point. Sorry, Bella, but you are the farthest away and have been eliminated. It all comes down to this. Either Aaron or me will win the power of veto. Both Aaron and Maeve have stayed. The correct answer is... 75. Maeve, you are the closest and have earned your third point, which means congratulations Maeve, you have won the golden power of veto. Yes, I won! Woo now I gotta talk to Alex and figure out if using the veto will do us any good. Maeve goes to Alex to discuss what they want to do because they have so many options. On one hand, Erin is the one that they have talked to the least, so leaving her on the block next to Bella should mean that she goes home. But if Bella is going to be staying anyways, should they use the veto on her to gain her trust over Caitlin and Julia? But also, if they save Bella, then Emma would have to go up, and they don't want to make Emma upset. Plus, if they did want to try and flip the vote to evict Bella, then she would need to stay on the block. Alex and May say that their decision really is based on how they can weaken Caitlin and Julia moving forward. They need to talk to them to see if they can gain any more info. If I really wanted to gain some loyalty from Bella, I could take her off the block and hope she would do the same for me in the future. But that could confuse and maybe even piss off Caitlyn and Julia. And this game is all about numbers now. I need to know where their heads are at. Alex and Maeve go to Caitlyn and Julia. To gain their trust fully, the two of them offer Caitlyn and Julia a Final Four deal. Naturally, Caitlyn and Julia take it, and agree to try and get to the Final Four together. Maeve then asks them what they think she should do with the veto. Julia says it really doesn't matter, because as long as Aaron is on the block, she will go home. Alex and Maeve continue talking by themselves, saying that Caitlin and Julia are full of it. They clearly are pushing for Aaron and only Aaron to go home this week, which would leave them in the final six, having a final four deal with them two, plus having a final four deal with Bella and Emma. Maeve says they can't let this happen. The problem is though, if they save Aaron with the veto, then Caitlyn and Julia won't trust them anymore. 
they have to make a very important decision here. After all these conversations, I want Bella to be a cricket. Dun dun dun! But I can't tell anyone that because it probably won't happen. Hey everyone, it's time for the veto meeting. This is the veto meeting. Bella and Aaron have been nominated for eviction, but I have the power to veto one of the nominations. I've decided not to use the power of veto. This veto meeting is adjourned. I know the plan is to evict Aaron, but I'm scared that things could easily flip and that I could go home. After talking with Alex, I decided not to use the veto for two main reasons. One, if I used it, I would lose any trust I had with Kayla and Julia, who are really important for my game right now. And two, leaving Bella on the block means that a vote flip onto Bella isn't out of the question. It's unlikely, but if we could make it happen, that would leave me in a great spot. Erin and Bella are left on the block, but the upcoming twist could end up saving both of them. How will it play out? Stay with us. Welcome back to Big Brother. With Aaron and Bella on the block, everybody in the house seems to want something different. And with the game less than 10 days away from ending, every single decision could make or break their shot to win. Maeve and Alex talk about the eviction. They say that in their dream scenario, Bella would be the one to be evicted. But they know that Caitlin and Julia want Aaron out, and that Emma would literally sacrifice herself for Bella. As much as they want Bella out, they may just have to sit this one out and let Aaron go home. While Alex and Maeve don't plan on fighting to save Aaron, Aaron herself is working hard to keep herself in the game. Knowing that Caitlin and Julia are the ones that are going to be controlling this vote, Erin goes to Julia to see if she can convince her to keep her this week. Erin says that she has not won a single competition this season, while Bella is a threat when it comes to winning those. She goes on to say that right now, Bella is her number one ally, so if Bella does go home, she'll need someone else, and that she'd love to make her allies Julia and Caitlin. Isn't it funny how no one will respond to me? Hopefully I got through to Julia. I won't go down without a fight. Julia goes to Caitlin with this information, saying that if they actually look at it, Bella might be way too dangerous to keep around. If they vote out Bella and loop in Erin, they'd be in the same position anyway. They might need to turn on their fellow Queen Alliance member. If Erin is telling the truth and actually works with Caitlin and I, then we should absolutely keep her over Bella. Bella's such a huge threat to win, and this might be the only chance we have to evict her. Julia and Caitlin go to Alex and Maeve with this idea. Alex and Maeve, who are absolutely dumbfounded as to why Julia and Caitlin have changed their minds, don't ask any questions at all. They don't want to rock the boat and possibly change their minds back again. They simply smile and nod, saying that they are fine with Bella leaving. Maeve, not wanting to blindside Bella, goes to her, letting her know that she thinks she will be evicting her tonight, and it seems the rest of the house is leaning that way as well. Bella, feeling completely blindsided by this, asks who else she's heard is evicting her. Maeve says that to her knowledge, Julia and Caitlin are as well. Bella goes straight to the Queen's Alliance and asks why Julia and Caitlin are flipping now. Julia and Caitlin are left speechless and aren't trying to engage with Bella all that much. Emma who is also completely blindsided by this, says that if they flip on them after not giving them any kind of warning, 
then they do not truly deserve the Queen title. Julia and Caitlyn are left in a difficult spot. The eviction will be determined by how they vote. They have a very important decision to make. I swear to God, if Bella goes home tonight, I'm gonna be pissed. Erin or Bella, tonight one of them will be voted out, but will not necessarily be going home. Let's head to the living room to start tonight's first live vote and eviction. House guests, it's time for the live vote to begin. Erin, Bella, in just moments your housemates will cast their votes to evict, but before they do, you each have one final chance to sway their votes with one brief statement. Erin. You're up first. Hi, I texted you all everything I had to say, but I do hope you listen to my words. Thank you, Erin. Bella, you're up. Guys, please, please, please keep me. I've been so loyal to everyone still in the game, and I'm literally willing to do anything to prove that I'm a good asset to you. I know you're all thinking of voting me out, but please keep me. It makes me so upset that everyone's switching last minute. I've worked so hard in this game, and I'm not ready to go home. Please, please, please keep me. Thank you both. It's now time for the live vote to begin. The two nominees are not allowed to vote. Alex, as current head of household, you will only vote in the event of a tie. One at a time, the rest of you will head to the diary room and cast your vote to evict. Emma, you're up first tonight. Please head to the diary room. Emma has put her game on the line for Bella in the past, so her vote tonight should be to keep her. Hi, Emma. Please cast your vote to evict. I sadly vote to evict Erin. Julia and Bella have worked closely together in Season 2. But in Season 5, Julia has already voted Bella out. How will she vote tonight? Hi Julia, please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Bella. I am so sorry. Caitlin is now at a crossroads in the game. Should she stick with the original plan and vote out Erin? Or make a big move and vote out her ally in Bella? Hi Caitlin, please cast your vote to evict. I incredibly sadly vote to evict Bella. Maeve has wanted Bella out all week, so now that she's got Caitlyn and Julia to flip, her vote should follow. Hi Maeve, please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Bella. It's official with three votes to evict Bella. Bella would normally be leaving the house tonight. It's time to fill the house in on tonight's big twist. House guests, the votes are in. When I reveal the vote, the evicted house guest will have just a few moments to say their goodbyes, gather her belongings, and walk out the front door. By a vote of three to one, Bella, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. Caitlin Powell will win this if y'all don't do something about it. Also, thank you so much, Julia and K-Pow, for yet again lying to me and voting me out. Hate you the most. Hope the twist messes up your game. House guests, please remain in the living room, and that includes you, Bella. As we told you in the beginning of the week, the house guest evicted tonight will not necessarily be out of the game. I can now confirm that, Bella, you are not evicted yet. For now, you are merely suspended from the game and will stay in the house. You'll all see what is happening after the next person is evicted, which is happening tonight. It's time for another Head of Household competition. Everybody, please head out to the backyard. So the house knows that another house guest is being evicted tonight. What they don't know is that either Bella or tonight's evicted house guest will return to the game. When we return, it's another head of household competition. Stay with us.
Welcome back to Big Brother. Just moments ago, Bella was voted out of the game, but remains in the house. And now, it's time to crown a new head of household. Free from the threat of eviction, this new HOH must immediately nominate two house guests for eviction. Let's head to the backyard to get this competition started. House guests, the power is back up for grabs. Alex, as outgoing head of household, you are not eligible to compete tonight. This competition is called Hot Tropic, and here's how it works. You will be shown a grid of emojis followed by a question. The correct response will be either A, B, or C. The last house guest to correctly respond in each round will be eliminated. The last house guest standing will become the new head of household and must immediately nominate two house guests for eviction. Does everyone understand? All right, then here is round one. The correct answer is C. Sorry, Caitlin, you were last. You have been eliminated. Here's round two. The correct answer is C. Sorry, Emma, you are out. Here's round three. The correct answer is B. Sorry, Aaron, you have been eliminated. And we are down to Maeve and Julia going into the final round. And the correct answer is C, which means congratulations, Julia. You are the new head of household. Everyone, please head inside. The live nomination ceremony will be in just a few minutes. When we return, Julia makes her two nominations live. Stay with us. Welcome back to Big Brother. Moments ago, Julia became the new head of household. Let's head to the living room to start tonight's live nomination ceremony. House guests, it's time for the live nomination ceremony. Julia, as head of household, it is your responsibility to nominate two house guests for eviction. Please stand, face your housemates, and make your two nominations. I choose to nominate Emma and Erin. I hope neither of you take this personally. This was all just super rushed. Emma and Erin, please take your seats in the nomination chairs. You two have been nominated for eviction, but you have one final chance to save yourselves with the power of veto competition. Coming up, will the power of veto save either Erin or Emma from eviction? Stay with us. Welcome back to Big Brother. Erin and Emma have been nominated for eviction, and now it's time for the live Power of Veto competition. Let's head to the backyard to get things started. House guests, it's time for the live Power of Veto competition. The winner of this competition will have the opportunity to remove one of Julia's nominations from the block. This competition is called Can't Handle the Tooth, and here's how it works. You will be shown an image with a certain amount of tooth emojis. You will have to quickly count how many teeth there are. If you are the first person to correctly answer, you will score a point. The first house guest to three points will win the golden power of veto and must immediately decide what they will do with it. Does everyone understand? All right, then here is round one. Caitlin is correct. Here's your next image. Alex scores a point. And here's round three. Erin scores her first point. Erin scores her second point and now only needs one more point to win.
Erin scores her third point, which means congratulations, Erin. You have won the Golden Power Veto. Everyone, please head inside. In a few moments will be the live veto meeting. Coming up, Erin decides if she wants to use the Power of Veto. Stay with us. Welcome back to Big Brother. Erin and Emma have been nominated for eviction, but Erin now has the power to veto one of the nominations. Let's head to the living room and start tonight's live veto meeting. House guests, it's time for the live veto meeting. Erin and Emma, you two have been nominated for eviction, but Erin now holds the power to veto one of the nominations. Erin, please stand at the head of the room and make your decision. I'm saving myself. Sorry, Emma. I love you. Julia, since Erin has just vetoed one of your nominations for eviction, you must now name a new house guest as the replacement nominee. Please stand at the head of the room, face your housemates, and make your decision. Alex, sorry. Alex, please take your seat in the empty nomination chair. I'll be back in just a few minutes to start tonight's second live vote in eviction. Coming up, it's Alex or Emma. But that's not all, because what the house doesn't know is that either Bella or tonight's second evicted house guest will return to the game. Stay with us. Welcome back to Big Brother. It's been a crazy night inside the house, but now the house will decide to either vote out Alex or Emma. Let's head back to the living room to start tonight's second live vote. House guests, it's time for tonight's second live vote. Alex, Emma, in just a few moments, your housemates will cast their votes to evict. But before they do, you each have one final chance to sway their votes with one brief statement. Alex, you're up first. You guys are funny, and I want to stay in and laugh more. Also, one vote for me is one more disruption in the universe that might cause Yellowstone to erupt, and we don't want that. Thank you, Alex. Emma, you're up. Okay, hi everyone. Please keep me here tonight. I haven't betrayed anyone here, and I think that speaks for itself to the type of player I am. I am loyal and honestly not really a threat, so why not keep me around, eh? I love all of you and I hope to continue playing with you cool people. Thank you both. It's now time to begin tonight's second live vote. The head of household is not allowed to vote. Neither are the two nominees. Bella, as a suspended house guest, you are also not allowed to vote. The rest of you will now head to the diary room and cast your vote to evict. Erin, you're up first tonight. Please head to the diary room. Erin has said before that she will never turn against Emma or Bella, so will her vote tonight be for Alex? Hi Erin, please cast your vote to evict. Alex. In the same way, Maeve has said that she will never turn against Alex, so her vote tonight should be the other way. Hi Maeve, please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Emma. Leftovers forever! Playing both sides, Caitlin has worked both with Emma and with Alex. So, what will she do tonight with the deciding vote? Hi Caitlin, please cast your vote to evict. I didn't want to do this, but Emma. It's official with two votes to evict Emma. Emma would normally be leaving the house tonight. It's time to fill the house in fully on tonight's twist. House guests, the votes are in. When I reveal the vote, the evicted house guest will have just a few moments to say their goodbyes, gather his or her belongings, and walk out the front door. By a vote of two to one, Emma, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. But you are not fully out of the game yet. 
it's time to explain a little more what's been going on. In seasons 1, 2, 3, and 4, there were two double evictions in total. In season 5, there were still only two. I never said that tonight was a double eviction. Bella and Emma, the two of you have been given another shot in the game, and you two will officially become the final nominees for the week. Tomorrow, the other five house guests will make one more eviction vote, sending one of you to jury for good and leaving the other one in the game with an extra life. That's all for now, house guests. Have a good night, and don't forget to expect the unexpected. So, Bella and Emma have been given another shot to stay in the game. Tune in next time to find out which one of them is officially evicted. After that, a new head of household is crowned, and they nominate two more house guests for eviction. Plus, a power of veto competition plays out, and at a special time this Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern, another house guest is evicted. From now until the end of the season, episodes will be airing Tuesday and Thursday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube to find other videos like our rankings on the final seven. Plus, don't forget to follow us on Instagram and TikTok at BigBrother underscore SS for more details on the rest of the season, as well as for future seasons coming this summer. For now, let's eavesdrop on the house guests from outside the Big Brother house. I'm Julie Chen Moonves. Good night.